Good night, fellow punters. The clock on the wall is later than I thought. It's 11 o'clock on Wednesday night. Back with one each way bet for tomorrow. I'm down here with the Langer's boy, Farouavan, in the River Lee Hotel. Uh, got, we got here about half six, quarter to seven. Twelve hours after, oh more. I was gone out of out of the house this morning at um, half six, twenty-five to seven. I got to Buzzwell's um, about ten to nine. Traffic wasn't too bad. And picked up two people there from Austin, Texas, but they lived uh, all their life. They only moved there recently, a few months ago. They were in uh, Seattle. In I don't know what, yeah, Seattle. Um, nice couple, first time in Ireland, uh, heavy roots on both sides of uh, the family in Ireland. O'Brien's and O'Meara's and Tipperary Cork and Limerick, I think. Um, so we done the usual route, Kilkenny, Waterford Crystal, Dun Garvin for the roast beef, three roast beefs, two pints of Guinness, and a Mai Wade. And on to uh, Middleton, and they done the tour of that, and they had their drinks, and it was going on for six o'clock when we leave leaving. Very few tourists about uh, today, anywhere. The season is nearly over. I got to see couple of the races that we were involved in at um, we were just after leaving weren't we uh, I can tell the can for I can't remember uh, Quirash was off first half brother of blue stockings knees further won his race up the middle but the bird had flown on the rail um, I'm trying to think I was watching that in oh yeah coming into um, Coming into Dungarvan, that was it, coming in the road. I watched it on the phone. Uh, well, I had the phone one side driving. And then we had Dark Viper. Um, I thought he might, I, I don't know, is it just that he is in, in such hard luck coming up against one the whole time, or is it that he just doesn't want to win? Um, that went out to 5 to 1 during the day, back into 7 to 2. Money for Gavin Cromwell is the, the winner. And uh, then Al Timara, I was watching that in uh, Middleton. Um, 16 to 1 last night. Um, it only opened up at 9s, I think, or 10s with uh, 365 last night. But Hills and Paddy Power, um, it was 16s. And it went off, I think, what, 9 to 2 or something. But it was fancied. But it didn't settle from the high draw and then it ran on it'll win a race but the more the, the the cat is out of the bag now that it's well enough handicapped it'll improve for the run too it's still green um lightly raced it was a pity um even for the owner that um it wasn't today because there was a good few pound on um i was looking at breeders cup races there that was the, much the last couple hours going through videos and i was trying to get a handle on the japanese horses as well um and uh i've a few selections made for friday night um i don't have to, we're going to blarney in the morning and then we're going on to uh, the usual route glen gareth uh, kinmere on to killarney for the next couple of nights so i'll have to try and bring them out for dinner tomorrow evening uh somewhere and uh, i'll get a video up at some stage for uh for the breeders cup on friday uh, I want to get that out of the way so that I'll be able to give full attention Friday night to uh, Saturday uh, because I'm, I have a bit of work to do yet. I have a few um, selections made all right. Um, we'll, we'll get there. One for tomorrow. Um, there's dire straight stuff out tomorrow altogether. Uh, I couldn't make head nor tail of it. Uh, just bad quality. I thought there was uh, one bet in, in Bath. He says, did you ever have a bath in Bath? Um, the own boroughs uh, trained 
Shadwell Bread and Own Moquina by Frank Outborough Ravens Pass Mayor Three Roll Philly um, It ran well enough the last day and it was in Sandown in uh, Class 5 It's good It's soft good to soft in places um, It ran okay on good to soft there before at a mile and a half uh, well, nearly a mile and a half. We dropped nine to four favourite. Uh, first time in a handicap, but it improved. I thought the last time and went out in front. Uh, and running off the same rating, it's well bred. Like, um, let's see, where's the that race? That's it out in front there. Towards the outside, Gwendolyn yeah. angled out, questionable, still being held up for her run. Then Little Miss India and Seymour, who's now trying to get going. Inside the final two and a half furlongs, and now being pushed on in front, Makina joined by Alvesta. Bayadere and Rose Branch, and here comes questionable, very wide on the track, but coming home strongly in those black and white colours. As they race now down towards the final furlong, questionable has gone on now from Rose Branch and Bayadere. Then came Makina over the back of the field trying to stay on again is Little Miss India but it's questionable who's got out in front by a good two and a half length from the Buffy Way Makina then came Little Miss India it's questionable who will be home for the win questionable the winner from Little Miss India up for second after that slow start it looked like it was going to be totally gooshed altogether there when uh, it looked like the five five or six had, had um, swallowed up and go past but it changed its lead then and it ran on uh, that I thought it might improve for the run um, and the horses that was rounded was uh, higher rated um, so that's the only bet that I could see tomorrow well we checked the prices it was a 6 to 1 shot there earlier playing 4 places 11 to 2 all over there now it's an open race so um, that's about it tomorrow so roll on some weekend of racing coming up between Ireland, England and the US of A so uh, bash the bookies over and out didn't get a chance to look at the comments today I was gone so early uh, I might have a chance now um, or, although I have a couple of races to look at yet in America uh, bash the bookies over and out